I'm Stephen Ben Danoon, and you're watching Israeli News Live. We have breaking news all around the world. We know that there is a lot of tensions, uh, especially among the Jewish populations and the different threats that they are facing from the Muslim extremists, the jihadists, ISIS, ICE, every other group you can possibly think of. In fact, I got a, a text this morning from Israel, from our correspondent Esther, who we will have on momentarily, about a three-year-old girl that was stoned while riding on a school bus, an 18-month-old that suffered third-degree burns when Palestinians threw a bomb in a home. British Jews are also asking police to do more to protect them. And Saudi Arabia uh, is saying terrorism knows no borders and the UK and America will definitely be attacked. Uh, I know there's a lot of concern already as far as the United States. We've had, even here in Florida, we've had two planes that came in unidentified. They scrambled F-15 uh, fighter jets up to intercept them. Uh, there are, last I heard, I believe it was 18, but the confirmation I did see were 12 jetliners that have been missing, that have been stolen, and presumably that they may be used in a possible 9-11 attack. God only knows what may happen next. Uh, it's, it's a time not only for the prayer of Israel and for the safety and security of Israel, but pray for the Christians around the world as well. There are many that are going to, no doubt, um, suffer at the hand of these terrorists, and we can only pray that God's mercy and peace will be upon the, the true, I should say, the true Christian believers. And pray for those that do not know Yeshua as of yet, it's a news broadcast, but I just encourage you that it's important that you do that as well. Let's go, and we will be going live here just in a moment with our correspondent, Esther, from the Golan Heights in Israel. So many things happening. I don't know where, where to begin, where to start. Okay, first news we, I, I have is that Saudi Arabia... And I thought this was extremely important. As so Great Britain and America, you guys need to be bracing for a big terror attack. It is going to happen. To Great Britain, it's going to happen within a month. And to America, within the next two months. And it's going to be nasty. Amen, okay. amen. So people are warning, but nobody is paying attention. Now, the the... Retired general of the CIA told the president, we need to be in DEFCON 1. So did the other military officials. We need to be in DEFCON 1. He has not done it, you know. So I don't know whose life he's trying to play with. So why is he playing Russian roulette with the lives of the American children and people? His kids have guards. His kids are protected. His kids have a bomb shelter. Well, you know, you know sis, the thing but, is, is uh, uh -huh. we have to remember he's a Sunni Muslim to begin with. And so, therefore, uh, ISIS, uh, although he may pretend in the background uh, to have a care and an interest for the, for the United States, but here it is, uh, they have, he, he quote-unquote says they have no plan, they have known in, in plenty of advance uh, that ISIS no, was a threat. No, he has no care. Uh -uh. He just, he doesn't he care. He doesn't care. This, this no, is why he not, opened the southern border here in the United States to allow uh, yeah. members of ISIS in. And I actually, a, a, a good friend of ours, uh, who is a correspondent with us as well, Rick, he's a former Navy SEAL, uh, and he has even right. stated as well that the United States opened the borders and they were flying in the terrorists and, oh, and, yeah. and were giving them money and sending them northwards here in the United States. So it's, it's and, wide and open. They, are, they have joined... They have joined the MS-13, the gang, the Hispanic gang. Uh, these terrorists have uh, recruited these gang members as well. You yes. know, they're getting, uh, gang, you know, all these equipment from these gang people. And, 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 and it's not good. It's not good, brother. And I, and I said, I want to you got to get out of there. Also, also, with all of that, the rabbi in charge of the Jewish community in um, Chechnya, he, he told the Jews, not only in Chechnya, but in Russia, in Russia, pack your bags. He yes. said the Jewish people now in Russia and in Chechnya, they are living with the packed bag. 
he said, uh, we're going to have to leave because uh, anti-Semitism is um, starting to beat at the door. And um, the leaders in Russia have said that tens of thousands of people are about to die in Russia, you know, in Ukraine and Czechia and all in, in these areas. Yes. They said the war that they're about to do is going to be three times or more as bad as the Cold War or World War II, whichever one, you know, that was. I don't know which one, uh, the Russian war. I think it was World War II. Now, huh? Is that right? I believe that is correct. You, see, you must be referring yeah, to World War you know, II. It's, yeah, well, what they said it's going to be much worse than that. And so the rabbi is, is, is telling the Jewish people uh, there in Ukraine and Chechnya to start leaving. And so not only that, the, the British Jews are now getting together and they're trying to get the police in Great Britain to help them, you know, protect them against anti-Semitism. We don't need that. I mean, what part of get out don't you understand? The uh, get or get uh, out? Yes, I mean, yes. You know, that's, that's the I thing. Mean, they're going to be like the Jews in Germany. No, I mean, and, and, and they're going to start being like the Jews in Germany who wanted to stay behind and hope that the things change. If they would learn to read their homage, they would know it's not going to get better. It ain't getting better. That's right. You're going to have to leave. If you don't leave, you're going to be killed. You know, sis, you know, the thing is, is you, you, and you're so right about that. Uh, there's a couple of things I want to ask you about. One, um, for, for, for a fact, I, and I can't say it enough, every Jewish person that I know, uh, if, if you need to leave and go back to Israel, I know what happens is they're, they're, they're looking, uh, Sister Esther, they're looking at Israel being, uh, at, at all the borders being surrounded, but... As we often say, and Sister Esther has made this clear as well in her response to the people here, is that you have to remember Yeshua, the Mashiach, is coming to Israel to fight and defend Israel. He's not coming to America That's to right. defend America. Judgment exactly. is coming to this it's, country. Right. All the nations are going to start falling around Israel, and they're going to wonder why is Israel still a democratic state or country, and uh, why Israel people are surviving. This is one of the reasons they're going to hate us. Not, I mean, half of the people that hate us don't even know why they hate us. They hate us because their neighbor hates us. That's they right. Don't know, they don't know anything. Okay, Satan has, blind, has, has done, uh, has, has boarded their mind and, and seared their mind. They don't, they don't know uh, because they don't want to take the time to learn about the Holy Creator, blessed be He. They want to just uh, uh, think about uh, making more money and, 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 and thriving. Yes. And when the money stops, because the money system is about to crash. Yes, it is. They said the money system will be crashing within the, within the next year. We don't even have a year. No. The American dollar is going to be batel umebu dollar. No and boy, it's not even going to work. And those Jewish people, because we have lots of Yehudim, lots of Jewish people, with lots of money, they're not going to have any money. And they're going to have to be, and, and many of them have five and six kids. They're going to be forced to get out of the country, and they're not going to have money. They're waiting to the last minute. You should not wait to the last minute. No, Don't absolutely. Don't wait to the last minute. So okay, I mean, because they're going to they're gonna close the borders. They're going to they're gonna come up with an excuse on why you cannot leave. Get out while you can get out. Amen. Get out. Don't let them put you on a FEMA camp. There, Don't let them put the Jewish people on a FEMA camp because they're going right. to say, we are the terrorists. They're going to call us the terrorists. That's exactly right. And and that's what they're going to do is execute Jews. And if you're, if you're a believer as Yeshua to be Mashiach, you're going to be executed for standing with Israel. Uh, if you stand with Israel, the only the only uh, so-called Christian of today that will not have a problem are those that stand with the Vatican that have joined up with them and, and their fight to try to annihilate the Jews once again. And uh, people right. may not all believe that, but it's true. Are, all of these people that are saying the church has replaced the Jews, they are going to join with the Vatican. The line has been drawn already. The angels, the Malachim, are already doing the sifting if they have not finished the sifting. Amen. The wheat is on one side and the tares are on the other. Okay? 
receiver, you're with us or you're not. If you are the person now, do they stand with Israel or not? If they say they are not sure, then they don't stand with us. They are there, and they're not going to make it. They're not going to cross over to change your mind. There is no time left. I think it's going to a big one has got to hit. The terrorists know that the United States is hiding what they're doing from the public. But they're going to, so they have to produce one that they can't hide, and they're going to do it. That's right. And, it, and, and, it's going to, and it's going to be so big that the United States is not going to be able to cover this one. Well, let me, let me ask we you. Have, we have 11 planes and possibly flight 370 that's still missing that have, that have, been, have been hijacked, have been stolen. Where are these planes going? Yes, yeah, so that that just goes to prove that the Malaysia airliner that disappeared too. They were just looking to see if they could do it, sis. That's all it was. They were looking yeah, to see. The terrorists want to know if they, they could pull it. it off. They were successful, and so they took a whole airport. These people have been emboldened because the United States is doing nothing, absolutely nothing. Do you know that this week? We have a three-year-old girl riding the bus to school, and Palestinians threw rocks at the bus and bust the little girl head open. A three-year-old baby. What are you doing throwing rocks at an elementary school bus? Isn't that the you truth? Know, they says. don't care if it's children. But then another girl was in her house eating dinner, and someone threw a Molotov, co- a Molotov cocktail bomb in the house. And and and, uh, and cause third degree burns on the baby. It, it just know, shows it's sa- it's savagery. It's Satan at he is. I mean, here's the thing, yeah. says. We are seeing that now the, the, the God is allowing the lids of hell to be opened up. And, and this is one reason yes, why... Yes, the gates of hell is open. Yes. They're open. The, the demons are out. It says that the, 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 the rider on the black horse was going out to cause people to kill with the sword. Yes. Every man is going to be killing his brother and, and, and neighbor. It, 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 I mean, the horses have been let loose from the barn. They're not being gathered back. It is murder. It is chaos. That's right. By okay, the way, the- right now, right now, America, right now, you can ride down to Walmart. You can buy your little groceries, but you won't be able to do that a year from now. That's right. That's you exactly better have right. the right ID, or you better be on the right side, okay? And, and when I say right side, okay, ultimately, we are the pure ones. Those who stand with Yeshua HaMashiach and keep the commandments of the Most High, we are the holy. We are the Kedoshim. Amen. We are truly the right ones. But those who want to save their life in this world... I want to keep riding to Walmart, picking up groceries, and living like nothing else is happening. You better be with the Vatican. Get your ID in order. Go get your uh, uh, chip in your arm or whatever it's going to take. Because it is done. It is finished. The angels have done the sorting. And uh, if you are not with Israel, you are a tear. There That's is right. no other way. Salvation is of the Yehudim. Salvation is of the truth of the Jews. Yeshua, right. sure, the Moses was given the, the commandments were given to uh, Moshe Rabbeinu at Har Sinai. It was given to Israel. The Mashiach come to Israel. That's exactly he right. He said he come to the lost. He said he come to the lost sheep of Israel. He says, go out and preach starting with Israel and then go out to the rest of the world. He says, when I return, I'm not coming for the nations. The angels are Amen. doing a sifting for the nations. They are choosing those who are siding with Israel. Yeshua says, when I return, I'm going to Jerusalem. I'm planting my feet on the mouth of all of them. Yes. He's not coming to Washington, D.C., people. He's not coming to Lucia. He's coming to save Israel. And the and whole, says, the whole thing is, for this is why we see the judgment will come on the earth. By the way, the woman that was beheaded was in London, England. That's the one we reported on. London. Uh, okay. Yes. She, okay. Was, she was an 82-year-old lady that was beheaded with a machete. Uh, 
I mean, and but the thing is, they, sis, it's they, coming they here. No reason, huh? It's coming to the yeah, United it's States. Gonna, it's going to be there, but you know what? It is already there because the, yes. the terrorists that they killed in Africa, and where was it? Was it uh, was it Nigeria? Okay, he was down with Boko Haram. He was with the other world. He was an American citizen. Okay. He was already an American citizen. It's already there. The American citizens are back in their homeland. They're waiting for 9-11. How many days do we have before 9-11? We have very few. Let's see. Okay. We have four days. Yes. We have four days. Okay? It's going to be the 4th of July in September. Okay? That was our correspondent, Esther, in the Golan Heights in Israel. Uh very much of a blessing to be able to get the insights on news and things that are happening sometimes that we are we do not pick up here and interesting how iran excuse me saudi arabia is actually reporting that there are going to be attacks coming to both great britain and the united states as, as she pointed out there are no borders to these terrorists and clearly that's pretty evident over in iraq and syria where it's already been said by officials that there practically does not even exist a border. We're also seeing an increased activity in Lebanon. Uh, there, there have been attacks against the government there. Hezbollah beginning to gain a stronghold once again and undoubt, no doubt preparing for war against Israel from the northern border. And we're seeing also the evidence on the Syrian border and the Golan uh, where our correspondent Esther lives. So it's only a matter of time before things spill over. Uh, and no doubt, we'll see Zephaniah chapter uh, 2, looks right, right around verse 7, if I'm not mistaken there, where Judah, uh, the house of Judah, will dwell on the coastline. This is also the time that uh, Hashem, yod heh vav He, the spelling of God's divine name, will deliver Israel uh, himself there. Uh, in further news as well, I wanted to just kind of give you a little update. Hamad, uh, Muhammad Abu Sankara, who was the young man that was injured in a during the during a riot against uh, is, Israeli citizens in, in Jerusalem? There, he was uh, the the police. The Israeli police were were pushing them back using riot control gear, rubber bullets, uh, sponge bullets is actually what the bullets are that they used on on this particular riot. And uh, there has been accusations that the young man was shot in the head at a closer range. The Israeli police said that he was actually shot in the leg. He fell and hit his head. Uh, but nonetheless, he did die of his injuries. Of course, his parents are blaming the Israelis. And quite frankly, you have to take responsibility as parents. If you allow your children to go out and riot against the, the Israeli people, you cannot expect a whole lot of good to come out of that. Parents really need to wake up and act like parents and not like thugs. Um, also as well, just to show how much trouble these riots are causing. It's not like a bunch of little kids out here, uh, although there are, many of them are teenagers that are doing this. Uh, the transit system, not the buses themselves, but the trains, we have a rail train that they built uh, over the last few years that run throughout the, the capital city of Jerusalem there, of Israel, capital of Israel, Jerusalem. We have 23 of these rail trains, and only 16 are now operable because of the riots that have happened since the conflict that began against uh, uh, the, the protective edge that was against uh, Hamas in the Gaza Strip, creating a lot of riots up in Jerusalem area. And of course, now the riots have once again begun. So the transit uh, authority there says they only have 16 of the 23 trains that are operable because of the riots that have, that have damaged so many of the trains. Uh, as well, even driving in this area, you definitely do not want to drive if you're traveling to Israel. Let me just give you a little word of advice. If you're traveling to Israel, be sure if you rent a car yourself, stay out of East Jerusalem. Uh, if you have a GPS system in Israel on your phone, they normally show the borderlines of what East Jerusalem is. You do not want to end up in these areas here. It's a great risk to your, to your own personal safety, safety of your family, because the Arab rioters... Uh, they just do not care. And if you're an American or if you're a Jew, you're definitely a target, that's for sure. Uh, also, there's a senior diplomatic uh, person, a source for, the, for Israel's national news that has reported to them that Hamas already, right after the, the uh, ceasefire was declared, has already, there's evidence that says that they're smuggling weapons again from Egypt into uh, Gaza. 
They are once again rebuilding the tunnels and, uh, and also they are remanufacturing or manufacturing more missiles to, to restock their stockpile as well. It is clear war is not over in the Middle East. And it is clear, especially after the news that we hear that uh, the United States making, uh, an, making an alliance with Iran to fight ISIS, that this is only a front in order to unite against Israel. So which side will the United States choose when it comes between Israel attacking Iran with their nuclear arms and America standing with which ally now? How can you be an ally with Israel if you're an ally with Satan? I'm Stephen Bendenoon with Israeli News Live. Good evening.